All right, guys, welcome back again, NFT Shorts. We're diving into another one, Ask GPT. If it's your first time here, of course, subscribe to the channel. Why not? If you've been here before, give this video a like. We're gonna ask GPT today, how does Bitcoin work? So let's dive in and just see. I've got my ideas. Definitely, you guys have seen many of these ideas in the previous videos. And for those of you who've joined the community, you and I have probably spoken quite a bit about this type of subject. Okay, so let's talk about it. Bitcoin works through a decentralized network of computers called nodes. Okay, all right. These nodes maintain a shared ledger called the blockchain, which records all transactions made with Bitcoin. Someone who wants to send Bitcoin to another person, uh, when someone wants to send a Bitcoin to another person, they create a transaction and broadcast it to the network. The nodes in the network validate the transaction and add it to a block of transactions. Okay, so that's very important. So we do have validators on the blockchain, which is good because we don't necessarily have to trust one single individual. This is why blockchains are typically known to be decentralized. Okay, that's the idea. Decentralized distributed or dis decentralized finance, things of that nature, distributed ledger technology, DLT. Essentially, there is no single point of failure and there are multiple people that are essentially using the network and contributing to it to maintain a level of security. Okay, to ensure the security and integrity of the blockchain, Bitcoin uses a consensus mechanism called proof of work. Miners who, who are nodes with specialized hardware compete to solve a complex mathematical puzzle. The first miner to solve the puzzle adds the block of transactions to the blockchain and is rewarded with newly minted Bitcoin. Okay, so very important to know is a consensus mechanism. This is essentially how the blockchain, how the network comes to consensus, comes to an agreement, essentially saying, hey, these transactions are legit. Are they legitimate or are they not? Once we validate them, then we can say, yes, we all, we all agree based on these guidelines. We all agree that these transactions are legitimate and therefore they can be placed in a block. Okay. And proof of work essentially is, it's it's lovely in the sense of you proving your work. You know, in mathematics class, you oftentimes, in, at least in the younger classes, you would have to show your work so that we know that you're not simply using a calculator or copying. You show your work, you show your steps. In this case, you are using some type of physical hardware and you're interacting, engaging with the network and other miners, other node operators to come to a consensus, right? So proving the work with uh, essentially a physical hardware device as opposed to in this case they refer to it as a specialized a specialized hardware as opposed to maybe proof of work uh, proof of of stake which is essentially when you deposit your cryptos or you stake your assets and claim that you will uphold the standards of the network right let's continue on so once a block is added to the blockchain it is difficult to alter or tamper with the transaction history now uh, this also makes bitcoin secure and resistant to fraud nothing is perfect these are still made by humans but and of course if if more than 50 percent or 60 percent 51 percent of the, the network is owned by one individual or one entity then of course there can be some persuasive tactics or techniques used to manipulate the network but that is the beauty of decentralization in this in the case of bitcoin virtually anybody can contribute to the bitcoin network um, with some specialized hardware of course do your own research to figure out how you can do it but uh, again i say everybody essentially is able to do it as long as you have the correct hardware specifications to do that and, and technical know-how right okay let's continue on overall bitcoin allows for peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need for intermediaries like banks it provides transparency security and control over one's own funds okay we've spoken about DeFi decentralized finance which i could coin or say is personal independent finance essentially right so having a peer-to-peer -peer network that is distributed just means again there's no single point of failure everybody can contribute to the network we are trusting in the code essentially to, to keep us uh, to give us a sense of security and also to be secure now blockchains are distributed ledger technology in the sense that you can see every transaction that's taking place on a network and within each block so you can verify 
you can choose to verify as opposed to trust anybody. That is one thing that is very important. Blockchains are based on verification, not necessarily based on trust. I'm just showing you some of these places that you can use, websites that you can use to track transactions to monitor blockchains you can look at your own transactions uh, you can watch other people's transactions if you wish other entities you name it just to better understand what's happening on the blockchains what the fees are like we definitely spoke about fees in one of the earlier episodes as well so i probably have to link that type of episode as well and here's another one so just a different form of visualizer just to show you what's happening on blockchains these buses are blocks essentially and these individuals are transactions loading up on buses and once the bus takes off that essentially means that that block has been mined and we're off to the next one so guys thank you so much i would definitely check out the description because i've got some pretty interesting links down below and some of these links can actually lead to some useful tools especially the like the one i'm using right here that gives you tons of cool um, ai insights into the markets things that you and i simply just can't do with our our brains alone and tons of information based on machine learning so pretty much virtually any crypto you're looking for as long as it's been out for a while you can find it here and dive into the analytics get a better understanding of what the market conditions are uh or just the, the macro overall and you know just dive into again some of the finer points of the market so that you can use so you can gain insights and maybe somewhat of an advantage over the average investor all right guys nft shorts again we're back at it it's the home of nfts and cryptos guys we're talking about essentially how bitcoin works it's the king of cryptos the daddy of them all all right let's demystify this and you know essentially get us all to win together all right guys until next time thank you take it easy